I'm going to discuss how I have students in public speaking classes here at Clover Park Technical College construct and organize their speeches. This may be fairly mundane and familiar material to many of you who are watching this, if you are veteran public speaking instructors. However, perhaps something that I say will be a little bit different or have a slightly different nuance to it than what you do in your own courses. In any case, I would mention that what I'm going to say here is shown on YouTube in a video in the folders that say videos of an instructor doing things on the CMST ampersand syllabus. Specifically, it says how to prepare a speech. I tell the students that there are differences between writing and speaking. I tell them that, of course, every speech has a beginning, a middle, and an, e and an end, but that there is more to the construction of a speech than simply having a good beginning, a good middle, and a good end. I share with them the advice that my father gave me and that is in practically every public speaking textbook, I suppose, which is tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and tell them what you told them. I also say that there is a difference between preparing a written document and a speech in that it's important with preparing a speech to start in the middle of what your final product will be, not to start at the beginning. I tell them that you can't really introduce something if you don't know what it is. So I ask them to create the midsection of their speeches first. I draw this up on the board. This is in the YouTube video that I mentioned a moment ago. After they have their topic selected and are sure of what impact they want to have on their audience, after they've selected a thesis statement, although they don't really have to do that at that stage, then I tell them only then should they break their topic into main points, you know what I'm talking about here, two, three, four, sometimes five main points, usually three, and that only after they have developed a list of details and supporting information for those three or four or five main points should they actually write an introduction and a conclusion for their speeches. I tell them that their introductions should be text-free, not memorized, that their conclusions should be text-free, not memorized. This is fairly straightforward stuff. At the same time, I think it bears reminding each other of the importance of letting students know before they start doing a speech of how they should construct it, how they should form it, how they should shape it. Mm-hmm.